Beautiful Aries, this is Tammy with Spot On Psychic Readings. How are you guys doing tonight? I'm coming in for your weekly reading, not your weekly, I'm sorry, your midweek reading. And I just wanted to um, share with you on starting a membership program. And there are two levels. I'm really hoping to have a lot of Aries on there. Um, you'll have different perks. You can go and look it up. I'll tell you how in a second, but there's two different levels. There is sunny yellow <laughs> and heart chakra green. I thought it was appropriate for this channel, <laughs> okay? And depending on which level you choose, if you decide to become a member, you get um, certain perks like um, being able to get readings ahead of time, like when they're out there waiting on a premiere, you can go in and watch them right away and also special readings just for members where you can ask questions and I'll do some lives and we can connect in that way. Okay, so really hoping to see you all. So if you go to my channel and there's different tabs, you know, this says videos and shorts and all that stuff, click the communities tab and there I think it will take you, if I'm right, I'm not sure how it looks from your end, I don't know how it looks on my end, but I think from there you can see the levels. So the sunny yellow is, um, I think it's $4.99 um, for the membership. It's just monthly and you can cancel anytime you want. It's not a problem. It's through YouTube. So, I mean, they cancel it instantly if, if you want to do that. And then there's um, the heart chakra green, um, which is the level where you get the free readings and things like that. Okay. You know, additional readings. So, okay. I'm going to dive in and also thank you all so much for all of your likes and subscriptions and Super chat, thanks, some of you sent, and cash app donations, and wow, <laughs> I love you guys so much, seriously. So let's see what's coming for midweek for you Aries, okay. Make sure my microphone's working, because you know how it is with Aries. Yeah, okay, we'll see. <laughs> Hopefully it's good. Okay, Aries. And you know, the more you guys subscribe and become members and things like that, the more I can pick up on your energy and get you even more... Um, you know, information and details that resonate with you in these readings. So it's very beneficial to um, click the likes and become a sub and all of that. It's just through energy. It's not like I go and look and, you know, sometimes I can't even see who's a sub, a subscriber, but I feel the energy. You know, I can feel the energy very strongly. Like I am right now. I'm one big goosebump <laughs> tuning into you, Aries. Okay, what do I need to know for Aries? Oh, two wanted to come out. Okay, we've got a pair. That's so interesting when they do that. That means they have a lot extra to say. And again, we're looking at midweek, but this will be going into, yeah, that one too. This will be going into the first week of November kind of generally, you know, into that last week of October, November, the time frames are, um, you know, not, they're not set in stone. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. My table keeps, sorry, my table keeps wiggling around tonight. I don't know what happened. Here's our pair. Oh, this is good, Aries. This is really good. Look at this, this is your extended, I mean, yeah, your extended future coming up um, over closer to November. Oh, I can't wait to tell you details on this, but this is Eight of Wands and Knight of Pentacles. They came out together, like they have a lot to tell you. Okay, this is super good. Okay, let's see the rest. Wow, these are so good. All right, okay, so. Let's just start at the beginning here, Aries, okay? So what's significant right now for a lot of you is you're waiting on opportunities to come in. You're like, where are they? <laughs> okay, that's what I'm seeing. Three of Pentacles reverse, like, where are these opportunities that I'm waiting on? Why aren't they coming in yet? Some of this feels like a delay, but it's only a delay. It doesn't mean they're not coming, but there's a delay here, okay? So try to be patient on that because wait till I get to this and tell you how good this is, okay? So hang in there with me. Watch to the end so you'll get all the details, okay? Because this is like super good for you and informative. There's a lot here. What is creating a conflict for you at this time, Aries, is Seven of Swords. This is such a mean energy that you guys have dealt with. This is something was stolen from you. 
something was really taken from you. This was a sneaky person that I feel like um, came in and just tried to take what you had, tried to take everything that you had, um, maybe just robbed you blind emotionally and in every other way. This is your conflict card. I mean, this is, this is what's caused a big life change, a big ripple effect in your life that you may feel like caused you a major life change, caused you a lot of um, relationship heartaches and all kinds of stuff. It's, it's here in the cards and I'll get to it. I'll show it to you, but this is your conflict at this time. Um, it may have put some of you in a state of limbo, but I feel like you're starting to come out of that. This is the Hanged Man card. It's kind of in your aura. And here's these opportunities again. Now this time it's upright. So this is the Two of Wands. We have the Three, three of Pentacles reversed here, Two of Wands here. So we still got um, some waiting on ships to come in, but these opportunities are there. They wouldn't be showing up. Even if they're delayed, there are opportunities that are there. They're right ready to pop through for you, Aries, okay? Because this hangman came up reversed, like you're being released. You're being released from a lot of things and new opportunities coming in. Some of you may have gone through feeling sick or you may know someone who is sick because we've got uh, four of swords reversed and we've got um, the, the Leo card. <laughs> I always call it the Leo card, uh, the strength card both reversed and I feel like this is going into your past maybe happening right now but it's getting ready to you know move off of you or out of your life okay but it looks like somebody may have even been hospitalized somebody may have been really ill I'll look into that and see more of what that is but you may know what that is at this time I feel like this four of swords being reversed somebody's getting out of that or getting better or getting out of a hospital or um, that kind of thing, but it does give me some hospital energy on that. Now, here's where it gets good. Here's your future, okay? So, Ten of Pentacles. This is in your immediate future, Aries. Some of you are coming into more financial stability as of this week, okay? Like right now, this is coming up. This is such a good card, and this has to do with money coming in and things that you can pass on to your family. Like, this is not just money that comes and go. This is like stability okay this is something grounded having to do with finances houses property resources all kinds of things like that this is coming up in your immediate immediate future this is what i got all excited about when i pulled this initially these are the pairs that came up in your more extended future eight of wands and knight of pentacles now knight of pentacles is a slow moving energy but it's funny the eight of uh, wands is a fast moving energy so for some of you, whatever is, these are both like super good cards. And this, now I understand what they're telling me with two of them coming up together. Some of you, you're all getting success with this. Okay. Everybody is coming into more money, more happiness shown with this eight of wands. Um, like somebody dependable in your life here shown with this knight of pentacles. There's a lot of good stuff coming in here, Aries. Uh, for some of you, it's going to be rushing in, rushing in. For some of you, it's slower moving, but it's still coming. It's very dependable, it's just coming a little bit slower, and these opportunities are playing out. Lots of new opportunities here. You are showing up, your energy, as this beautiful wands. Okay, this is king of wands. Uh, this can be represent your energy or your person, but more likely you, because it is in the views of others. This is how other people are starting to see you, Aries. And this is somebody who's very warm, and very intelligent, very much in control, but not in a controlling way. This is somebody with a lot of emotional intelligence, also very fiery. I mean, I always think of Aries when I pull this card because this is very much Aries energy, this fiery, passionate, um, wanna get things done, but very trustworthy, you know, at the same time, very, very um, in control of him or herself, and family can be a father family person um, can be a good business person all sorts of things a lot of passion here for whatever um, you do <laughs> whatever it is a lot of passion for it okay now when we go on up into um, sort of what's sort of happened around you and hopes hopes and fears and these are showing up more as fears that something like that might happen again We've got the tower and we've got the nightmares card. So 
um, Aries, you went through, you went through this. You already went through this. This is not coming. This you've already gone through this, and it's still, it's still there in your energy. You know, it's still sort of causing you to rethink things and not always trust people and situations. And I feel like some of you are having nightmares about it. You know, you went through a traumatic time with this tower. I feel like it comes back to haunt you. You know, I feel like it's still kind of hanging in your energy and that sort of thing. But this tower's already happened and it's definitely showing me um, cause and effect here. <laughs> I, want, I want to say with these two things, it's like cause and effect that's going on and it's having to do with karma not your karma though. I feel like this karma came from this first person that I pulled with this seven of swords energy. You know, what I'm getting here, it's like, yeah, like the struggle is real for you. <laughs> this, this tower and these nightmares, um, the struggle was real Aries for sure. But the karma is real too. <laughs> okay. Um, and it's, you know, as good as things are coming around for you, this is now what this person is facing, okay? So the nightmares and this tower situation that this person caused you, this is now gonna take them over because that's their karma, okay? That's what I'm trying to say, cause and effect. It's like, yeah, they did this to you and now it's gonna be done to them. I feel this so strongly, the circular energy, I'm just feeling it right now. So yeah, the struggle was real, but so is the karma. <laughs> okay, I wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of that, quite honestly. Now, for some of you, you may be own, um, business owners, or you may be considering business, and it may be struggling at this time. We'll look more into this. This is Eight of Pentacles reversed, but everything else here is so good with the opportunities coming in. I'm not too worried about it, honestly, because... Um, when you get Eight of Wands and Knight of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles all in your immediate future, yeah, <laughs> it's really good, Aries. So things have turned for you. I mean, just in the few months I've been reading for you all, I'm seeing a big turnaround of energy for you all. It's starting to happen and it may not be happening. I mean, it can't be happening for every single Aries out there. You know, it's a collective reading, so feel free to adjust the time frames a little bit and uh, different roles here and there and stuff but overall it's starting to turn you know the stars are coming back in your favor and also there's you know a partial eclipse coming up soon okay this wants to come out there's a partial eclipse coming up and it's going to really bring out a lot of secrets and bring up a lot of losses for people and people who have bad karma like the seven of swords person here it's going to like whack them Okay, I mean, it's the kind of thing that it will cause a lot of nightmare for people who are nightmares for people who have wronged people, you know, I mean, the universe is not real forgiving about that kind of stuff. So, okay, here's some clarification about what's coming up for you. Ace of Cups. <laughs> this is a whole new beginning, Aries. Um, you know, when these aces come up, they're powerful. This is Ace of Cups coming up for you with new love coming in and good luck. This could be um, some water sign energy like Pisces or Cancer uh, and you know Scorpio energy. I feel a lot of Pisces energy with these fish on this card though, I really do. And I'm just feeling like there's new love. You're gonna be more and more into your intuition, like especially with this eclipse energy, you're gonna be really feeling your intuition, you may be getting visions and dreams and all sorts of things. Um, clarity, a lot of clarity on what happened. I feel like some, some of you still don't know the full picture of what happened. You know, there are secrets there. I feel like some of that's going to be revealed to you coming up with this Ace of Cups as well. It's a really powerful card. What else does Aries need to know? Okay, there's um, two of pentacles. Some of you are juggling money at this time. Um, eight, here's the eight of wands again, okay? Eight of wands right next to the juggling money. Now, eight of wands is a card of success and things uh, moving very quickly, things coming in quickly. It can be a sudden love affair, which could bring this new love, this ace of cups, which can be new love as well as new beginnings in love and new beginnings of all sorts. Um, it can be travel. Some of you could be traveling. 
you could meet someone on a trip. It can be um, just things happening fast, you know, things coming in success. It's definitely a success card. Oh, look at this Aries. Okay, this is exactly what I was saying a minute ago. Here's the justice card. <laughs> okay, so multiple meanings here. This is a major arcana card. Okay, so it's, it's big, it's powerful. And I'm feeling it. <laughs> I'm so feeling it. Um, this, is, this can be karma balancing out. All right, so in other words, whoever wronged you, in a lot of this situation with this nasty seven of swords energy or things were taken from you and you were played and all that stuff juggled all those things there could be a legal situation justice the obvious you know justice playing out balancing out it's fair and square for you because it's upright but if you're on the other side of this like the seven of swords energy like i said the struggle was real for you but the karma is going to be more real for them and this justice card is the balance scales. This is the universe going, hmm, we're gonna balance this back out for Aries. And it's not gonna be pretty for seven, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Seven of Swords over here, okay? So this is a super good card of balance. And the guides right now are also, oh, sorry, are also telling me, sorry, they're also telling me this is you rebalancing your life. This is about you coming back into balance yourself, okay? So let's see what else Aries, this is um, really, really interesting. Let's see what else they want to tell you. Oh, some of you are coming into this beautiful Queen of Pentacles energy. Queen of Pentacles has to do with somebody who's financially sound. And remember the 10 of Pentacles that came up? And what was this, this eight of, um, this knight of pentacles and eight of wands, all these success cards. This is representing some of you, many of you, and this could be a king of pentacles, take it as it resonates, but there's definitely more balance in money that's coming up, financial security, having what you want, those sorts of things, okay? Let's see what else is coming up. Wow, Aries, look at this. Here's the Two of Cups energy. Now, this is very much, how interesting is this? So we got the um, Ace of Cups, now we've got the Two of Cups, okay? So there's a new beginning in love and this is coming together, all right? There's new love coming together for you. Now, if you're not looking for love, this can be a new beginning that you will love, all right? And it can be a business partnership that you will love or starting something new or a contract you know two things think of two things coming together with this two of cups energy usually it's the obvious you know romance the couples coming together but not always like I said if you're not looking for romance that part's not for you it's having to do with other things in your life coming together and it could be all of it, it could be the relationship and contracts and business partners and all of the above <laughs> okay Let's see what else, Aries. Here's King of Wands again. <laughs> this is you, Aries. This is so you. Um, this King of Wands, the very fiery, magnetic, passionate man that's showing up. He's a father, family man, good advisor, very smart, um, and very into his hobbies, his business. He may be a business owner as well, you know, really passionate about his business. This is representing you. This is your energy. This is all turning around for you, Aries. It really is. Like I said, I've seen you all go through stuff and, you know, through the cards and reading your comments and stuff, and it's, it is turning around. Here we've got Knight of Wands. Okay, this is the card of relocation. Now, you, some of you could be moving. Um, I saw this in this nine of um, um, nine of Pentacles energy earlier. Some of you are moving into a house you love or a place you love, and um, I feel like for some of you, this is somebody coming from afar to be with you. So your Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, love energy uh, could be you're moving to be with them, or they're moving to be with you, or you're moving in together, things like that. Okay. Knight of Wands also has to do with really exciting energy, like things up in the air, okay? Like everything's in the air. 
And sometimes that feels really overwhelming and sometimes it can be fun. Probably for some of you Aries, it'll be fun. <laughs> Fire energy kind of likes that. Here you go, Knight of Cups. You're gonna get some kind of love offer, Aries. A lot of you are on the edge of this romantic offer. This could be you making someone a romantic offer as well. This can be anything from engagement to somebody asking you for a date or you asking them. Um, this is love energy. Now again, if you're not looking for romance, love, relationship, um, this would be some sort of other kind of offer that you will love, like a job offer, for instance. For some of you looking for this Three of Pentacles to turn around, Three of Pentacles meaning new jobs, opportunities, and things like that. But there's going to be offers and opportunities and uh, more intuition. Cups comes with, again, more intuition and more emotions and things like that. Excitement, passion. A lot of passion showing up here today, Aries. Okay, here's Four of Cups. You're like, but can I trust it? <laughs> this is what you're saying, but <clears throat> I don't know what's in that fourth cup, <laughs> right? Some of you are like, I don't know if I can trust it. But this is also you feeling kind of discontent, like, yeah, maybe I'll take a chance on that next opportunity. <clears throat> Let me get final words here for Aries. Oh, Six of Pentacles, final words. Let's see if there's anything else, nope. Okay, let's see what these final words are. Six of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, and Eight of Swords reversed, wow. Okay, so you're getting some sort of gift or receipt of money. Now this could be a settlement. Usually this is not money you work for, usually. Usually this card means this is money that is extra that comes to you through a settlement or a gift or uh, some sort of a benefactor, something like that you know, maybe a legal settlement, those kinds of things. This is on its way to you. Um, and it's happy. It's going to it's gonna um, alleviate some debts. Sometimes this has to do with finishing off debts and things like that. This is uh, Knight of Swords. So something's going to come in very quickly having to do with this gift. This is a fast card and it's going to um, bring you some sort of information. This is a card that says read the fine print. This is a card of contracts, maybe legal. Sometimes this can be legal again. And how this works out for you is Eight of Swords reversed. I'm gonna leave it at this Aries. Eight of Swords reversed is all about being released from a bad situation, an oppressive, depressing situation where you felt like you were just stuck and you couldn't get out and it was so dark, you just couldn't see your way out of it and you're being released from this soon, okay? So I'm gonna leave it there for you today. Thank you all for coming in. And again, I hope you'll check out my members membership program. Again, go to my channel page, look at the tabs at the top. You'll see videos, shorts. Somewhere over there you'll see community. Click the community tab and you can do sunny yellow <laughs> or heart chakra green. And those are the two levels, and I would love to have you all as members because we can connect more that way. So again, thank you if you're a subscriber, and if you're not, would love to have you, and you're always welcome here, and thank you. Love you guys, Aries. I'll see you again soon. Have a great week, and I think you will. <laughs> Bye.